of you to be captured and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Come out of that family! Viewers around the world, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to be listening to wonderful testimonies. We have a caller. Hello. Shalom. Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Tell us your names and uh, where you're calling from. Okay. I am Mrs. Ukosi Selai Ike. I'm calling from Enugu, Nigeria. Tell us the reason why you've decided to call. What are the challenges you're facing? Okay. I, call, I call because of the first reason I've been having a pressure and I have serious problems. Have taken out, take the left part out of my head. I find it hard to walk. I'm going to say, I was referring to even the teaching was two years, yet there is no. Uh, uh, my heart, yeah, I have severe pain. To breathe is a problem for me. What name did the doctor call the sickness? First time I went, they said it was. High blood pressure, which was very high. Then the second time, after several tests, it was altered. So, in fact, this would ill and it kept it left my body. Yet, there is no positive result. How has this problem affected your, your career, your marriage? and your life. It has affected my career severely. Next woman, but I believe my next couple is difficult to go to. My business is every day. I'm very kindly at this right now with my husband. He doesn't know what to do, so it has affected us. Yeah. We have an issue on it. Spent in you say you have what? We have spent a lot. You said you cannot walk, uh, you're having challenges, meaning difficulty in walking. Are you using yes. anything to support yourself, your movement? No. no. The first time that we started the high blood pressure, I had the passion through. So we used to it for something else. So how am I going to do it? And you said up to now you are still up to now you are still finding it difficult to walk. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. If you are uh, set free now, will you be able to know? Yes, I will be able to know. What are the pain, the symptoms you are having now? Let us know. Now, now that this morning I have to take drugs from the to breathe deeply. But now as I'm talking, I have a serious pain here. Where? This time I can't lift it up and you know, lift it up and hold it like this for long. And the leg, I cannot lift it or walk effectively. So if I'm here now, I will know because the pain, the excruciating pain, is much. Where are you having pain now? My chest, my heart here. Now call the name Jesus Christ and say, Jesus Christ, heal me. You are the healer. Jesus, Jesus Christ, you are the healer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, you spirit of infirmity. Take your sickness, your pain, your disease, 
your ulcer, your hypertension, and get out. Come out of her! Out! Come out of her! You sickness causing demons. You spiritual husband, ancestral spirits. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Be free. In Jesus' name, madam, check yourself and walk freely. Check your heart. Check everything. You are set free. Viewers around the world, this problem we are having here, network challenge. You can see the woman bursting into tears of joy. We believe she's free. She will have to check herself and then get back to us. A while ago, she called in and explained that she's been having difficulty walking, having hypertension ulcer, and uh, this had tormented her life for many terrible years. And she even said that if she's been prayed for, and she's completely healed, she'll be able to know the difference between when she was not prayed for and uh, when she's been prayed for. And she has been prayed for, and by the grace of God, she, you can see that reaction of appreciation to God, that reaction of thanksgiving, and we believe she's totally set free. She's going to call back because that was a network challenge. She's going to call back shortly to tell us what God has actually done for her. She's going to walk freely, She's going to uh, have the pain no more, and everything she was complaining in the past will be gone. What a God we serve. He's a mighty and living God. So get ready and get connected. Let's hear from her now. Hello? Shalom? What is what is happening? Tell us. Okay, let's hear from the person that received healing. Uh, Madam, tell us your name and what God has done for you after the prayer. But Okay. I, I, I want you to come down and talk. I want you to come down and share your testimony. We know you are excited. Um, just do those things you could not do before that you can do now after the prayer. Okay, I'm raising my hands now. Walk like it before. I told you. I couldn't. Nothing. No. I couldn't. Raise my hand now. I'm talking. Okay. Somebody should hold the phone and get you while you're moving. You say you could not walk before. You find it difficult to walk. I'm 
viewers around the world, a while ago, the woman complained that she was having difficulty walking. She was having serious heart problem, pains all around her heart, and she was finding it difficult to breathe as well. And uh, after the prayer by the grace of God, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, who is the master healer, has set her free, and that's why she's, you know, happy, and she's moving freely to the glory of God. We, we can see a lady that is standing next to you. Who is she to you? She's my elder sister, my middle elder sister. Okay. She's in the Okay, we want to hear from her since she's been the one that has been assisting you because of the difficulty in working and your inability to breathe freely. Now, madam, tell us your names and your age and where you are calling from and also whom the person that is standing next to you is to you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. 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 What do you know that you can say we have problems before she received prayers? For the past five years, she got married by April. And for the very first day, she did it to, to work. She had that last end. And if of a wedding, if of a wedding, she had an accident. And then, yes, and so immediately after the accident, from that point, the public and front, the work with her husband, in her health, First of all, the time she had a, a mood of pressure, something to do, started to do her tummy. She went to the hospital, the doctor that was anything, but her she had an operation, we found out something that we cannot even tell us. I was wondering how then after the one, the next one will say desire blood pressure. She had a partial stroke of her feet by her left hand side. And also, all these two things. Okay, the month as I age, happening, and then the fight had to. She didn't fall down, she was not talking to her, but she couldn't walk. From that point, we've been carrying her from one place to the other, and all the fall, head off, the bus, head off. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Our two parents are dead. I'm so concerned that I think God to, to come and kill her. But nothing to my house last month. So that every morning, whenever she wakes up, I will come and massage her and talk to her son. Or after my back, she will not stand up. She will not do She cannot do everything. As in sight. What were the things? She can't do it. 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 She can you tell us the things you have been helping her or other people have been helping her to do when she had this problem? To wear her clothes. First of all, I will massage her body. After massage her body, I will now help her to wear her clothes, hold her hands to walk up to walk up to walk up to walk and uh, what about cooking? Okay, were, were you there when she 
introduced herself and also received her healing. Did you witness her healing? Yes. Did you witness the prayer? I was So, what can you say that God has done for your family, for your sister now? I'm okay. Talk Whatever she tries to breathe, I think I'm going to be fine. Some step on for you to calm down. But now she can breathe. Okay, let us so immediately after prayer she raised raised her hands like this and told me that she I was looking at her surprising I don't even know what to say, I don't know what to how to do. I cannot shout out. I can't for. She was running around. I had a video. She was running around. I video. She played around from one pillar to the post. She was running around the corner, around the corner where we are. We want you to move. Let people see what God has done for you. What you can do now. Oh, I can move. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can move. What is when? That's the woman who could not raise her hand nor move freely. But after the prayer, you can see her exercising herself freely. You see her moving. You see her even walking freely, smiling. You can, you can see what, she, what she's doing. So, viewers, over to you. Jesus Christ himself wants you to believe and to know that he is the healer. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. Don't give glory to me. I am not the healer. I know his name. His name is Jesus Christ. I am not the redeemer. I know the redeemer. His name is Jesus Christ. So let's give glory to him. Two days later, the Kojim team paid a courtesy visit to Mrs. Ngozi at her residence. Wow! Here is Mrs. Ngozi stepping out of her home majestically to welcome the Kojim team. Shalom. Greetings from the City of Jesus International Ministry. We are here by the grace of God to meet with someone who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ touched, healed and delivered during the course of the prayer with the man of God, Christopher Oji through the live streaming service. She was healed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when man of God Christopher Oji offered prayer and that was how she was transformed. So we are right now in our house and let her know that we are people of God and we care. Madam, we bring you greetings from the city of Jesus International Ministry. Amen. So we say we are rejoicing and thanking God Almighty for your healing and what he has done for you. Please tell us your name, your age, and where you come from. Uh, I am Mrs. Stella Ngozi Ike, and I'm 43 years old. I am from Abia State, Nigeria. You are welcome, ma'am. We can see uh, a woman beside you. Tell us, please, who is she to you? The woman beside me is my elder sister, Mrs. Pav Chiwe Okeke, my immediate elder sister. The man of God, Christopher Oji, prayed for you. You were healed, right? Yes. So now tell us, what was the problem you were having before the prayer? The problem 
that I was having before the man of God prayed for me was that I've been having high blood pressure and severe ulcer for almost five years. It all started after my wedding in 2015, November precisely 2015. And I started having pains all over my body, from my head to my toes. I started having severe pain. I was confused because nothing actually happened. So I was confused. I tried to consult doctors that were close and they did not find anything wrong with me, but they just gave me painkiller. So after like two months, it all started again. The pain was severe. I went back to the hospital. This time around, uh, FMC in my state, in Abia State. That was where I was. I went for my medical treatment. So the doctor did everything he could and the result came out. He said it was high blood pressure, severe high blood pressure. In fact, the day it started, it was very high. It was 210 over 170. They didn't know how I walked. So I almost collapsed. So I was hospitalized for two, two, three months, yes. After that, I left the hospital. When I left the hospital, myself and my husband, we came home, we prayed, we continued. I continued taking the drugs that I was given. They gave me several drugs. I continued. But then, after six months, it started, it was as if nothing was happening. This time around, I couldn't move. I would be in my house to walk, to do domestic things I couldn't do. I could not sweep. I could not cook for my husband. He was the one that was always doing things for me there. So I called my elder sister and she came visiting. When she came, she was surprised you know, that I was not able to move, especially my left hand side. I couldn't move my hand. I couldn't move my leg. So I was basically crawling, crawling. So we went back to the hospital again. This time around, they said, I have severe ulcer. Very, very severe. After series of, you know, uh, uh, tests that I did, several tests, went from that hospital to other private hospitals. They still confirmed it, that it was ulcer. So they gave me treatment, they gave me drugs, I, I was on drugs. First year, second year, the whole thing continued. Nothing happened, nothing, nothing positive happened. The pains were there, it was severe. Then in 2017, continued. One day, I was moving out of the house. I just fell. When I fell, I shouted. So my neighbors, they came in. My husband came in and he helped me to you know, stand up. I stood up. I sat down Then I found that I couldn't walk. This, the left hand uh, part of my body was stiff. So they rushed me to the hospital and I said I had partial stroke. You know, everyone was, was confused. I was confused. He was confused. We were troubled. At this time around, we, I, I was not, I, we didn't have any children, so we didn't know what to do. But then that was not the basic thing because I was sick. I was dying. I couldn't sleep very well. I couldn't breathe very well. Every night I would take drugs. Every morning I would take my drugs. Yet I could not move. It continued 2017, 2018, 2019. I went to school hospital I continued taking my drugs I was given different hospital uh, different drugs you know every time I, I went back to the hospital they give me different drugs yet the same amen they kept on saying high blood pressure and uh, ulcer I've been on, on the drug nothing no difference it was as if it was getting worse every day so I, w I was just living my life that way in fact like a vegetable I couldn't do anything to wash my clothes was problem but my husband that was doing it then once in a while my elder sister will come she will do it for me you know I had no help in fact my husband at the time he got tired we've spent everything that we have my business crumbled I had I was you know I was a businessman before this whole thing started so my business crumbled I was just living my life basically on nothing and depending on my sister and then my husband so it, affect, it also affected my marriage severely because, of course, I could not talk about having children at that point because I cannot live a normal life. So we we're just living. I was just living. And he was always getting angry. Myself, I was angry, frustrated. You know, basically nothing was happening. 
So it continued like that until February this year. My sister called me and told me that she wants me to come down to Enugu because she stays in Enugu. I said, okay, that she wants me to, to come down, that she wants to take me to a place. I said, okay. I said, is it a hospital? She said, yes, I should come down. So after everything, my husband brought me uh, down to Enugu. Precisely on the 26th of March, we came down to Enugu. And we went straight to the hospital. When we went through that, the hospital we went was in Tasubi. It's an Intasubi hospital, it's a Catholic hospital. We went there, we repeated the whole thing. In fact, this time around, they gave me different tests to go through, and I went through them. I Almost every two days I was there, I would be coming, spending money myself, my husband, my sister, we were there. All through, nothing was happening. They gave me, as far as I'm concerned, the same drugs, the same routine. So what my sister will be doing every morning, she'll be the one to help me wake up. I will sit down. She will massage me in the morning. She will massage me in the afternoon. I could not do anything. She will cook. She will bring it upstairs for me. I will eat. So she was basically doing the same thing that she used to do when she visits for me, when she visits for me. And I couldn't do anything. So we're just trusting God. We continued until she came and told me, and she said that she saw something online about Christopher Oji's ministry. I said, ah, that Christopher Oji, she said, yes, that somebody has told her about it, so she went online, and that she wants us to give it a try. I said, okay, I'm open. I'm, being, I'm a believer. I'm a born-again child of God, so I'm open to everything. I told her, at this point, I don't even have a choice. I'm open to everything. But I know that, I, that somehow God is going to do it, but I don't know when, and I don't know how. So she said, okay. So she gave, she tried, she got the address, the phone number, she said, okay, I should call them first. You said uh, your sister introduced you to Christopher Oji Ministry. What was the service that was going on that you were asked to hook up to? She told me that there's a service that normally goes on at uh, YouTube. It's a YouTube service, a live service, and that people call in and she has seen several testimony. It's a Thursday live service that we should call through okay that many people that called that she saw the testimonies people were being healed people were being delivered that we should also try i said okay so it was a live service on that day on thursday i tried the line the first time i tried you know many calls were coming in i was just believing god i said god like this is my last post of i will keep on trying you know, calls were coming in, we were watching, we were following the YouTube live service, people were calling, being here, being delivered, and we continued and continued until miraculously my call you know, went through. When it went through, oh my God, I don't know what to do, I don't even know what to do, I didn't believe that I, my call actually went through, so the man of God, you know, asked me, he was, he asked me my name, he asked me what I called him for, I told him, I was surprised, I was actually talking with the man of God live for the life service through YouTube you know life service I couldn't believe it tell us your names and uh, where you're calling from okay I am Mrs. Uwazi Selai EK I'm calling from Enugu Nigeria it was not physical it was online but he was there you know he was very calm with me and and before I know it he was just asking me what is wrong to madam calm down and I told him everything that happened, you know, how it all started, what was wrong with me, you know. And then I told him that I, what I, what I called him is, I want Jesus to heal me. I want to be set free from this infirmity that I believed. I believe that what, what is happening, I, I saw everything that was happening, people that were being delivered, calling from all over the, the, the world, India, I was following the service. That, how can I be in Nigeria? I, I, I know, I believe that I will get my own healing. So after that, he started praying for me. I even thought, you know, the, it was going to be like, you know, a food deliverance service was going to cast out demons and everything. It was just a calm prayer. He just stretched his hand, prayed for me, you know, declared the word and asked, told me that I was free. You sickness causing demons. You spiritual husband, ancestral spirits, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, madam, take yourself and walk freely. Take your heart, 
check everything. You are set free. While he was praying, actually, the first thing that happened with me was that I started feeling, feeling hot. There was this heat all over me. Then my my palms, my palms was shaking. You know, I felt the two palms shaking. I couldn't control myself anymore. I tried to actually, but I could not. Then the next thing, it took like five, you know, it happened like five minutes. My sister was there, right there before me, uh, with me, you know, we were there. So I couldn't hold myself. It was the first thing that happened. So I couldn't hold myself. After like five minutes, it was as if some like chain, you know, there was a chain that broke. You know, before then, I could not breathe deeply. I could not breathe deeply. I had this excruciating pain that had been there. So, immediately I felt like, as if there was a chain that was broken. Ah, I was surprised. My hand, the first thing was my hand, this left hand was free. I could move it freely. I could move it freely. I could breathe deeply. I, I tried like two, three times to breathe. I could breathe deeply. I was shocked. I couldn't hold myself anymore. I, I, I now stood up. You know, I stretched my hands. My hands, I could move. I could talk. I could talk. I wasn't feeling hot anymore. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, I could talk. There was no pain anymore. I couldn't shout like this before. It was happening live. My sister was there. He was not, the man of God was not present with me. It was just a YouTube service, live service. And I didn't know. It, just, it was just all over. Within a few minutes, everything that started for the past five days ended. It was a miracle. I could stand, I could jump, I could shout, I could breathe. Oh, I could smile for the first time. Never I could smile. Oh, oh, oh. I thank God. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm shocked. I, I couldn't believe it just happened within seconds. Nothing, nobody actually touched me physically. The man of God was not there with me physically. But then, I just received my healing, my deliverance. The chains were broken. I was free. I was free. I was free. I was free. So I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Obviously, this is Jesus of Joy. We can see your sister as well, also sharing. Uh, Tears of joy uh, to prove that God Almighty has indeed done a great thing for you. Like you said before now, you were having partial stroke. This uh, denied you opportunity to walk. You cannot walk. You were just sitting down all through in the house. Your sister has been wanting care of you, uh, looking after you. That was why you were seated at home. You couldn't do anything. You couldn't do anything at all. You could not go anywhere when you needed to eat. She will prefer food for you and bring it for you to eat. Once you needed to do one thing or the other, she will be the one to help you in doing things for you, to beat you, take care of you, shelter for you, and do all the things that you could, you could have done for yourself, you could have wished to do for yourself, but she's the one doing it for because of the condition of this partial stroke and several other problems you just uh, mentioned. So now seeing yourself back again, now well, healed, sound how does that make you feel as a young woman as a young woman i feel happy overjoyed i'm fulfilled seeing myself being able to talk freely breathe freely walk freely do things for myself wash no longer dependent on drug morning and afternoon oh i'm overjoyed i'm so happy i don't i'm just i can't explain it i can't explain the feeling but I'm happy. My, 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 my heart is full with thanksgiving. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Joy is overwhelming. Overwhelming. Because I've had to depend on drugs. The drugs. The drugs. I can't imagine them. They're just so much. This, 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 where do I start? I have several drugs. have them. The, the nerve drugs. I have. They, they all belong to me. How do you use these drugs? Okay. I use them morning and afternoon. This very one is one for ulcer. It's omeprazole for ulcer. I've been taking it for as far as I can remember for the past five years. Every day I take it two times, one, one in the morning, one in the evening. I have to take it for ulcer. Along with this, this is flagell. This is flagell. 
I, in fact, at the time, because I, I, there's a particular flagell that I used to take, and they said it's no sagil, this uh, is not the original. I had to go look for this one, the main one, the original one. Okay, they, they, I, bought, I buy it like this, filled box. This. What is it meant for? It's meant for ulcer. It's an antibiotic. I take it along with these ones for ulcer. Look at them. You can see they're almost finished. They're just remaining three cards. It's food. I buy them full this way. You know, along with this, I take it. Then I also take the antacid. These are the antacid I take. This is Gascor. This, this one is finished. This one, I just bought this one last week. It's finished. It's meant for ulcer. Antacid for ulcer too. For ulcer. So these are, these ones are for ulcer. If I don't take in the burning sensation, it, it, will, it will be as if my, my, my chest is tearing apart. It's burning. The burning sensation is severe. This is another antacid for ulcer too. For ulcer. All this for ulcer. So then apart from the ulcer, this is for high blood pressure. This one now is for high blood pressure. Okay? This one is losagil. Losatan, sorry. Losatan for high blood pressure. This one is uh, amylodipine. This is called um, uh, Asomes 5. I buy this. You can see it's just 10 tablets. I buy this almost every week, okay, to keep up this and this. This is the, as far as I'm concerned, is, is S amylodipine. Okay, I had to get used to my drugs. I know them. It's S amylodipine. It's not as if these drugs, they do anything. I take them they, they, for, for high blood pressure, yet the, my blood pressure will continue to increase. Yeah, the pain will be there. Then I also suffer from the side effect. Okay, so I had the side effect. I will be dizzy. I can I could no longer drive. I drive before now, but I no longer drive. I will be dizzy all through when I move. It's as if I want to fall. Then headache, severe, continuous headache. So to keep up with the headaches, I have to buy this painkiller, this paracetamol. I take them every day, three times a day. Every day I live my life like this. Every day, this is how I live my life. Then I also have this one again. This one again. This is Renev Plus. If you, most most people know this drug, it's very expensive. I have to be on it two, two times every day. It's meant for nerve, for the nerves here. Because I told you I had partial stroke, so the nerve here, I had that they recommended it for me to help me, you know, the nerve. I've been using it for five years. I take it every day, morning, night. Yet nothing is happening. This is another one. Still, this is Omega Plus. Omega 3 is Omega 3, 6, 9. I take it is a, a, a supplement. I take it along with this for high blood pressure. This is also a blood capsule. I have been on a drug, uh, a blood uh, drugs because one of these, this drug, Lusatan, actually affects my blood level. It affects blood level. So I have to be on this every day. If not, my blood level will go down. And I'm a faint. I have this faint, fainting sensation that is as if I'm not even used to it. So these drugs, I have to take them every day, two times a day, at least some of them three times to live my life. Yet, is in pain, severe pain. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. You are saying that after all these drugs you've been taking to suppress the pain you are having, uh, as if it will put an end to the problem you are having, of, of, of all this, the pain still passes. Yes, persisted for five years until on Thursday that I was prayed for. I've been taking it. Even that Thursday in the morning, I took it. The pain was still there. I was still having the excruciating pain. So this means that if these drugs we are seeing right now weren't able to put an end to the problems we are having. They weren't. They made things even worse because I have, each one of them has its side effect. I have to live with the side effect, the pain, and they were not suppressing anything. We thank God Almighty for your life. You have seen her. She just explained the whole thing. How she been using the drug, that after taking the drug and everything she has done, this couldn't put an end to her problem. So that's what she has just explained to us. <laughs> in fact, the last time I took it, I said it during that life service. I took it that morning. I don't Okay, like this morning, I woke up, I, I slept late, 12, 12, between 12 and 1, I, I, I had a midnight call with my husband, we called, we spoke all through for one hour, I slept late, ordinarily I shouldn't be able to wake up or even stand up from the bed, but I stood up, early, had my bath, ate my food, went around, swept everything, I didn't take any drug, not one, 
of the draw. All I took was water and my food. I took tea because for the past five years, I don't take tea. Yes, I forgot to say that. I don't take tea. I don't take tea because it will affect the ulcer and also affect the high blood pressure. But I took my tea, took my bread because they also told me to stay clear from bread. So I took my bread and I did everything, not even one drop, not, not one. And I can shout, oh my God, if I don't take this drug, when I woke up in the morning, the, thing, the first thing is I will not be able to breathe vividly. I cannot breathe. Then to talk is a problem. Then I have to stand up slowly from the bed to sit down. I will wait till my sister, you know, when she's through with one or two things, then she'll bring my breakfast, I will eat, then she'll come and massage me in the morning at night. Then I talk slowly, I move slowly even from the bed. So when I talk, you may not be able to hear me you know, clearly, okay, because I have this pain. Then I, the bony sensation will be there, even after taking the drug. I don't have any symptoms. I can talk, I can shout, I can jump, I can smile, I don't have any symptoms. I can breathe deeply, <sighs> freely. So we thank God Almighty for your life, for healing you and delivering you from this uh, terrible situation you just explained to us. Uh, we just want to hear from you. What is your word of advice to people that are watching us right now? My w word of advice is this, because I know there are so many people that are passing through what I am passing through. Okay, there are so many people. My word of advice is this. Please and please hold on to God. Do not give up. And please, yes, especially for those of us that are Christians, please do not uh, be tied up in a particular, you know, please. Don't say, um, I belong to this church, I belong to that. No, 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 no. Because the, when I call through the uh, crew on Thursday, I thought the man of God who asked me, oh, do you belong to this sect before? He did not ask me, he just prayed for me. So please, key into this very medium. Call through. Call, call, keep calling. Do not give up. Do not give up. Please call. Call the Christopher Orgy's ministry. I am not advertising the man of God. I am advertising Jesus that is the healer. Your faith actually will heal you. Because I did not give up. Like I told you, I called him over and over and over again. And I said, I was not going to give up because Jesus will heal me. This is my end. This is my last bus stop. And Jesus did not disappoint me. He actually healed me. So I thank him. Thank God Almighty for healing you. Jesus Christ did not fail to do what he has promised to do for you. Indeed, we are seeing you smiling, happy once again. The happiness that you been denied of for many years. God Almighty has healed you and brought that happiness back to you. We just with you and thank God Almighty for the greeting he has done for your life. Uh, once again, you said the sister beside you. Who is she to you? She's my immediate elder sister. She's been the one taking care of me ever since I came down to our house. Okay, she's the one. She's also the one that encouraged me to call through to the life service on Thursday. Madam, greetings from the City of Jesus International Ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Mrs. Paul Chimo Keke. I'm from Anambra, but I'm residing in Enugu. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So, uh, is sister beside you? Tell us who she told you. She's my immediate younger sister. So what's her name? She's Mrs. Stella Ngozi Ike. You, you've heard it all from her. What can you say? Okay. Well, she has said it all. She has said everything. Uh, 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 uh. I just have to chip in one or two things and to thank God and the ministry for all that has happened in our lives. Uh, while she was passing through the problem, she had a partial stroke on this side of her body, the left hand side of her body. I, I, I was surprised. How can she have partial stroke? How come? Is it possible? I can't even imagine it. I had to visit her and to see by myself. And when I saw it, I said, God, what kind of, what, what are we going to call this? My mind, I was running through, through several things. I, and she couldn't walk uh, because when I visited her, I had to assist her to do one or two things and then when she came down to my place i was the one in the morning i will go and massage her massage her body from from her neck down here to her toe i'll massage it do a help her to do one or two things bring bring up her food sometimes i even fed her i could i was god what is this 
that was when I knew that this thing is not just ordinary because we have visited several hospitals and it has been the same pack of drugs they will give us drugs and she has been taken yet nothing had happened the, the, the last one that even shook me was when she started having pains on, in her heart I was is it pain is it that your heart is paining you or that you can she said that she's having pain if she whenever she wants to breathe in she will breathe up like this then to breathe in will be difficult for her I will start praying speaking in tongues do whatever I can do for God to allow her breath to come down <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day I say God what will I do direct me Holy Spirit not until when uh, some of my friends I started asking questions then told me about City of Jesus International Ministry the man of God uh, Christopher Oji I said okay they had to send the numbers to me how to connect me. I started calling and uh, I started calling at the time my phone had a problem and I took it as one of those uh, uh, problem attacks when I started using her number too to call but thank God on Thursday it was just miraculously it was just a miracle to me the line went through and then the man of God appeared I was shocked I was for 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 a second my mouth was open like this am I actually seeing Christopher Oji and then he started praying for his prayer didn't even last up to five minutes so he he stretched his hands from the screen and then he prayed while he was praying I noticed that her hands started shaking she was shaking virtually shaking I was saying what is happening I was thanking God in my mind but I was I said this is what though we are not physically there and all these things is happening after some minutes the shaking stopped she she she, she lifted her hands like this I said I am healed I said is it true I am healed I am healed she started running around she started breathing in and out freely she started breathing in and out freely I was shocked and amazed I don't know what to say is this my sister that whenever she wants to come down the step I have to hold her hands like this and then carry her you mean before now she couldn't walk at all at all at all after massaging her I will have to carry her I, I will have to hold her hands like this and then she will be limping she used to limp she used to limp this side of her body I will hold her we will now gradually gradually come down we will gradually come down then she will stay sometimes uh, downstairs if she wants to come up again we'll carry her again gradually we will we'll, we'll have to lift her carry her like this she'll be limping this side of her body we'll come up again sometimes I don't even sleep at night I will leave my husband I will join her in the room just I'm um, why because I, I I don't know what will happen in the night I say let me be there so that if anything happen I'll be of help sometimes I will send my children uh, the last one to go and uh, and join her in the room so that if anything happens, in case if she needs help, let him help her out. So that that has been how we've been living before Thursday. So now, after the prayer of the man of God, Christopher Oji, for your sister last Thursday live stream service, how is your sister now as compared to before? My sister is here, perfectly here, more than how she was before even she got married. She she's now stronger happier because why she was going all those things she was depressed she was depressed she was frustrated always though she is not it's not her i her make her understand what she's passing through sometimes i'm the receiving end she sometimes she'll attack me if i do one thing or the other she will say it's not good this is not how to do it i i knew that all these things will come to an end one day i used to accept i knew that god this thing is part of it but since after thursday she has been a happy person all through. She has been helping. She she came down when we came back. She came down to the kitchen. She helped me to do to do one or two things in the kitchen. The other time she even started cooking. She tried to chop some things for me. She helped me to sweep and mop uh, uh, the kitchen and then the room. I was like, hey, is this my sister? At least I wanted to tell her to calm down and take it easy. She said no, that she's healed. She will jump. She has been jumping around, walking down the step freely alone without assistance. How does it make you feel now? Happy. I can't thank God enough. I cannot thank God enough for all that he has done. Even the husband, when we told him, even up to this one, he called and he say, are you sure she's okay? He now asked, so she's okay now? She said, yes, she's perfectly okay. I cannot thank God no more. Since on Thursday, that, today is Saturday. On Thursday, I slept in my room. I did not enter her room one bit. On this morning again, she was even the one that woke me up. 
she was the one that woke me up. I did not massage her body again. The massaging uh, oil that I normally use, I, I, I don't even know where I kept it again. I've not used it. I cannot thank God enough. I'm so, so happy for this healing. For this healing, for His grace, for His mercy, for His love upon my family, upon my sister. We should return all glory to Jesus. Jesus Christ is the healer, is the one that has healed you, delivered you, and set you free through the one of God, Christopher Oji. So now that your sister has been healed, perfectly okay now again what is the word of advice to people that are watching us right now my, my word of advice is that nobody should lose hope nobody should lose hope no matter how long that ailment has stayed no matter how long 10 20 years hold on to god god will not disappoint he's a faithful god when he say he will see you through he will surely see you through he will surely see you through one day you will smile one day you will shout hallelujah the way we shouted and we are still shouting so that's my advice for the viewers thank you very much but well, now that you have been healed and set free what do you want to do with these drugs we are seeing in front of you now this drug is no longer my portion it's no longer my portion i don't need them i don't need them i don't need them forever and ever i'm a free human being i live freely for jesus to serve jesus Never ever to depend on drugs, but on Jesus, that is the healer. Amen. Having heard your wonderful testimony that God Almighty has done for you, and uh, the healing God Almighty has uh, done for you, because God is the healer, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The healing was done by Christ Himself. So the ministry is touched. I mean, the city of Jesus International Ministry is Tosh, and uh, the Lovers of God International Foundation is a foundation of love. Okay, on behalf of the ministry, the city of Jesus International Ministry, and the man of God, Christopher Oji, along with the uh, partners of uh, the city of Jesus International Ministry and the Lovers of God International Foundation, we are here to present to you. Uh, a cash gift of 50,000 Naira. Oh, oh, man of God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus is faithful. Oh, I'm so happy, man of God. I, oh, prophet of the living God, thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Kojima and the team, the partners, may God Almighty. Break every yoke in your life and bless you abundantly. I don't know what to say. Jesus is faithful. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I am surprised. I am amazed. I am shocked. And this is, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't explain this. Oh, this is awesome. To God be the glory. I return the glory to him. And I thank you, Kojima and the team. I thank you for, oh, I thank you. You've been loving. You've been faithful. Oh, you, you're my family. I can't explain this. You're just like my family. You took me even when you didn't know me. You, 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 you just took me in when you didn't know me. You received my call. Man of God, you don't know me for anywhere. You don't know how long I've suffered, but you reached out. May God Almighty bless you abundantly and the team in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is, oh, this is. 50,000 Naira. Oh, this is cash. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is the 50,000 Naira. Oh, oh, this is 50,000 Naira in cash. I did not expect this. I did not expect this because Lord Jesus has done enough for me even through the prophet and his team. I didn't expect this. I did not. I did not. This is just uh, shocking to me. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. I'm so grateful. Thank you. And may the Lord Almighty bless you all. Thank you. Viewers all over the world, this is this is awesome. Please and please hold on to Christ. Jesus himself is love. This is love. I experienced this love from the beginning. I didn't expect this. But Jesus is love himself. To God be the glory. We also want to present to you uh, from the ministry, the City of Jesus International Ministry, we are presenting to you 
uh, the stickers of the man of God, Christopher Oji, for you and your family. Okay. And also flyers you can also share to your friends and loved ones about the ministry, the City of Jesus International Ministry. My heart is full. My heart is full. I don't know what to say, but to say thank you, man of God. Thank you, Kojim team. Thank you, Kojim family. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the extension of this gift. And for this, I'm going to really reach out to those that need this. The Lord Almighty is going to minister by himself through this ministry and thank you for giving me this very uh, uh, opportunity to share in this love may god bless you all i'm grateful what do you have to say of all this seeing your sister receiving a, a cash gift of fifty thousand naira and uh, with uh, a gift also from the ministry the city of just international ministry what do you have to say i'm short of words I'm short of words because I didn't expect this. I did not expect the gift. I did not expect the cash gift. I did not expect the, the cash gift of 50,000. Even after, for making himself to be used, making himself available to be used by God to heal my sister and I, is even enough for us. I cannot thank him enough. Now, seeing this cash gift of 50,000, I am, I am short of words. I've never seen this before. Honestly, we have never experienced this, ever, ever. Rather, we even spent more. Eh? Rather, we even spent more. There are some people that at, like, at least we'll call them, we'll send them credit to, to be able to, to, to connect to their line to call. After that, we have to even bless them to sow seed. We called, you came, spent money, spent your everything, your time. And then you now blessed us again, blessed my sister with a cash of 50000 Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to thank the one of God. I say, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I've never seen this kind of love. I have never experienced it ever. I have never, ever experienced it. Honestly speaking, this is my first time. This is my first time. It is real. This is real. This is real. I, don't even, I can't even believe that it's happening in Nigeria. Not to talk of where I am in the eastern state of Nigeria. It's happening real and it's life. This is life is real. I want to thank Jesus. I want to thank Jesus for using your team, for using the man of God, for, use, for showing us this kind of love. I have never experienced it. This is the first time. May God bless you. May God bless the man of God. Bless every one of you that has uh, uh, bring out your time to be used for this mighty blessing. May, uh, may, may, may the blessing of God never lack you in your life. May you will never lack. You will never lack helpers. You, whatever you lay your hands to do will, will be a blessing. Whatever you step your feet, you shall possess. The blessing of God shall overshadow you every day of your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, for making yourself available, for your team, for making yourself available. May God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. This can only be God Almighty. I will use this money to take care of myself, to eat. My family will eat. Okay? They will be joyous. And I will smile, continue to smile. No longer to buy drugs. I will never no longer buy drugs. I will use it to eat, buy food, item, and eat and feed my family to the glory of God. Amen. We thank God Almighty for your life. We just want to advise you people to live your life to please God Almighty so that the blessings and the healing, the deliverance you've received from God Almighty will permanent in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Her joy knows no bounds as she exercises herself for the whole world to see that truly she's healed and free indeed.